Howdy folks, it's your friend Fishing with Dom. It is the second to the last day of the Bass Pro Shop annual Spl spring classic fishing sale. And I'm at the Bass Pro Shop in Auburn Hills, Michigan, about to go inside, cop some deals. Uh, feeling really excited about everything. I know they've got a good sale on fluorocarbon and a great in-store promotion going on with Booyah Spinnerbaits. So I'm going to run in there, go buy some stuff I probably don't need. But I tell you what, I'm going to have fun. Let's get it. Oh yeah, here we go. This is what I'm what I'm looking for. Got plenty of spinner baits going on right now, but I'm gonna go see if I can find fluorocarbon. Oh hey, stickos. Oh, it's not a bad price. Hey there, little guy. Oh yeah, my favorite fluorocarbon's on sale. So I'm gonna pick up at least two spools. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. The 10 for my crankbait purposes, and for my other rod, for the jigs I'm throwing in sparse cover, I'm going to go with a thicker fluorocarbon this season, so I'm going to set that to the side, and I'm going to go with 17, put that right in the middle for you. Let's go check out some other stuff and go see what else I can find. There is all sorts of good deals in here that they got going on. Ooh, rod socks. I always tell myself I'm going to get more rod socks, but I never end up actually doing it. While I'm here picking some stuff up, I gotta gotta let y'all in on a little secret. This is my all-time favorite jerk bait for bass fishing. Big old grandma Jake. Gotta love it. You know, you just fish it really, really slowly on a four-pound monofilament. Nice ultralight rod. Catch yourself bass all day. Now I disregard everything I just said. I've always had a fascination with musky lures and musky products and just the big behemoth catchers. Just look at all of these, all of these baits. And I'm going musky fishing in a few months. I'm really, really excited for that. But off to go find more deals. Right, folks, I'm here at the Spring Fishing Classic at the Bass Pro Shop in Auburn Hills, and I see my friend Phil here. Uh, Phil looked a little familiar to me, and it turns out he's a fellow YouTuber I've watched before in the past. Phil, what's your favorite way to fish? My favorite way is using a Carolina rig with a brown pumpkin seed power bait or power bait worm. Okay, I'm really big in the Carolina sag Carolina rigging Saginaw Bay with lizards, but it's the power bait lizard back. Back before they discontinued him, before they brought him back. Yeah. Good stuff. What, what's the name of your YouTube channel people can check out? It's uh, Fisherman Phil. Okay, I'll be sure to put the link in the description below. As always, Phil, good to see you. Maybe we can do some fishing sometime in the future. I'd love that. All right. Take it easy. Thanks, man. Yeah, have a good one. All right, I got to get to my car before I freeze to death. Well, it's actually not that cold out here. It's probably 25 degrees. It's still really cold. And I got to try not to get hit by a car. But overall, it was a pretty good haul. Got about $40 worth of stuff, a whole bunch of spinner baits, uh, some, a little tackle box, and all that good stuff. Where the heck is my car? I am lost in the parking lot. Lost in the parking lot. Am I lost in the parking lot? Oh, God, this isn't good. Where the, okay, well, there's a Ford 500 there, but that's not my Ford 500. It should be somewhere around here, right? 
The park's pretty close to the middle. I am literally lost in this parking lot. Oh, there it is. We're good. Don't worry. All right, we're going to go get in the car real quick, and I'm going to show you what I bought. That was awkward. But because I am going home right now for spring break, and I have a mountain of stuff to do, and the Fishing with Dom studio is probably very cluttered right now, I'm going to show you everything I got from my Bass Pro Shop haul right here out in my car. Uh, bought a lot of fishing gear lately. I was at Outdoor Rama at the Suburban Collection Showplace in Novi last night, and I've got another bag of mis miscellaneous stuff in the back seat that I'll share later. But this is a, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm ashamed to say this, but I don't know uh, the numbers and sizes with tackle boxes. I just buy a whole bunch of the same size and call it good. And if I need any more, I just go out and buy more. But I got this nice, you know, good size tackle box for uh, 360 something. Oh, uh, there's the receipt. Got a whole bunch of stuff, and I paid $42.67 with a donation to the United Outdoor Fund. And then, um, we'll save the best for last. Not knocking anything about my fluorocarbon choice, but I got 10 pound Trilene 100% fluorocarbon. I'm gonna run this, as I said earlier, on my bait casting outfit that I use for crank baits. So I have a moderate power, medium action Vendetta at home with a Revo X by Abu Garcia and a 5.4 to one gear ratio. That's what I'm gonna put this on. And then this 17, I wasn't originally going to buy this 17. I told myself earlier today, I'm gonna buy a six for one of my spinning outfits and then I'll buy a 10 for the crankbait outfit. And then I'm thinking to myself, what if I, what if I order braid at a different time, put that on the spinning outfit and you know, got, got another 10, replace the 10 I have on my, uh, my other Revo S and Veritas combo that I've had for a few years. I need to give it a name. Uh, uh, I throw a lot of jerk baits with it, throw a lot of jigs with it. It's kind of like a, uh, a, a, a workhorse, if you want to call it. I do everything for it. It's medium heavy, um, moderate fast action to it. Uh, it's, it's the rod you see me fish with all the time. I was going to put 10 on it, and then I told myself, I'm going to put 12. No, 14. If they have 14, I'll do it. And then I saw 17 in the box, and I told myself, you know what? I'm going to get me some of this 17. 17 is a sacred number. I don't know how. And I don't know why, but 17, it's a good number. Got that. Oh, we got some spinner baits. They were $2 a piece. Um, I love Bass Pro Shop. Don't get me wrong. Sales ad was a little misleading. They said Booyah spinner baits in store were $1.99. But only, uh, not all Booyah spinner baits were $2. And I, I, I obviously wasn't expecting the bigger, flashier, like, uh, pike ones or the big shadow, not shadowlicious, that's the Strike King swim bait name, but the, the, a, a spinner bait with a whole lot of blades and a whole lot of function going on it. I, I was expecting that to be two ninety nine, dollars but there were all this little uh, Colorado willow blade combo, every, every single one of them I got. And I'm not knocking it. I paid $2. I won't complain. By all means, I'm not going to complain. The ad was a mi little misleading, but that's just me being picky. So, got this, you know, booyah right here. I have no idea what color they call this. Uh, maybe it says so on the back. Um, no, it doesn't say. It does not say the color on that. I, it looks, looks like citrus. That's what I'll call it. Citrus. We got that right here in the half ounce. Can't go wrong with the white. White, only this one's double willow blade. It doesn't have the Colorado blade up top. Uh, white half ounce. We got the white and chartreuse in the three eighths. We have white and chartreuse in a half. We have just chartreuse in the three eighths. I don't fish just chartreuse a whole lot. And I think I have this exact same spinnerbait at home. Maybe I have it in the half ounce at home. I just know I don't fish with this color all too often. But I will if I get the chance. And then, last thing in the bag. Yeah, that's the last thing in the bag. 
got the white and the three eighths out. That's everything I have, folks. Everything I've gotten. Oh, I dropped all of it. Oh, I dropped all of it on the front. Oh, oh dang it. All right, all right. Well, goodbye, fishing line. It was nice to know you for a whole 20 minutes. Uh, it is under the car seat, and I'm not going to pick it up to show you right now because you already saw it. But hey, Bass Pro Shop Spring Fishing Classic. What a great time. What a great time. I can't go, I can't wait to go home, spool up some of my stuff, and just take some time off school and get some stuff done in the office. A big shout out to the guy who rung me up here, Fisherman Phil, uh, fellow YouTuber. I saw him. Uh, back in January at Ultimate Fishing Show Detroit, and he did a little interview with Mark Zona before I uh, interviewed him as well. And when I walked up to him at the counter, I I must have had this really awkward look on my face. I just kind of kind of gave him this one funny look, like I know you from somewhere. You know, bald head, you know, uh, the beard, a little, bit, a little bit on the bigger side. I've seen this guy before. And, he rings me up, says it was $41 or so, and I just look at him and I say, Fisherman Phil, I know who you, I know who you are. You did the interview with Zona. Uh, good stuff, man. He's another fellow YouTuber that I've picked up and, and noticed on the local scene for Southeast Michigan. It, it's just something I've noticed, and I was absolutely mind blown. And he was happy as hell to, to realize that, you know, a, a viewer was, you know, acknowledging him for the content he creates. And when it comes to the game of YouTube and video stuff, we all strive to put out when somebody, especially somebody you don't know whatsoever comes up to you and says, Hey, I saw that video day made absolute day made. And for me and him to talk like this, and I, I got to know where he's from, and he knows about where I'm from. We're going to do some fishing this year, and we're hopefully going to do a collab. So, there's going to be some good content coming this summer. I only got eight more weeks of school, and then it's, it's, it's hats off to the races. So, I'm going to put a link to Phil's channel in my description below. But until next time, I'm Fishing with Dom. This was me at the... Bass Pro Shop Spring Fishing Classic. If you haven't been, you need to go because it's a good old fashioned time. I tell you what.